Okay, I think we're live now. And I would like to welcome the ones uh, who, are, who are watching us live. And uh, of course, the ones who came in today and who joined our live session, it's a pleasure to have you over and we'll practice a lot. Uh, so my name is Elena Renova and I'm an English teacher and I'm a speaking tutor. And uh, well, I would love to help you with your uh, fluency today. And we will be talking about dreams. And I'd like to give the floor to Miss Sevi. She's going to introduce herself and we will move on. Thank you so much, Miss. My name is Sevi Bayraktar and I'm an English teacher as well. And I'm going to do my master's degree in English studies in Finland. Uh, I hope that you like the topic today. Uh, as Miss Alana just said, it's about dreams and it's quite um, well excited. Uh, I'm quite excited actually about the topic. So it's an interesting one. So I hope you uh, enjoy the session. Yes, have you had a chance to have a look at the vocabulary list, at the questions, at the sample answers? Have you had a chance to look at it? Yeah, I did. Great. Was it helpful? <laughs> sure. Yes. Yeah. Great. So I think the topic is not that easy today, but we'll see uh, how well you can you can make it. Okay, I'm sure that you will be able to speak and to describe your dreams and to talk about it. Um, so, um, yeah, well, most of you haven't um, joined us for the first time. So let me anyway ask you to introduce uh, yourself. Sarvar, it's over to you. Could you please introduce yourself and why uh, you have come here today? Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am, for chance me. I'm Sarwar Catholic Jesus. You can call me Sarwar. I'm 49 years old. My education is MA. My favorite color is red and blue. And my hobby is uh, journey with uh, uh, right to poem. And uh, at this moment, I'm doing job in textile division. My organization name is Norban Group. It's 100% export-oriented ready-made garments industry. Actually, we have exporting to European Union with Canada and USA. Basically, we have made T-shirts, pro shirts, leggings, men's boxer shorts, ladies' hoodies, jackets, etc. And this is foreign trade, and a um, um, lot of English part and um, um, native English speaker communicate with me for official purpose. But they, I have sent to them 30, 40 emails for well correspondence purpose. But my English spoken knowledge not well, not enough. I am feeling poor my spoken skill. And I am participating here for English development purpose. Improve my English spoken knowledge with skill. So definitely it's a beautiful platform for English learners and beginners. It's a great opportunity for me. I am feeling proud of you for your nice arrangement for the worldwide English learner and viewers. So I need English development. I increase my English fluency. So I need your support with help. That's it. Thank you very much, ma'am. You will have enough support today, no worries. Uh, Noemi is saying, I love this accent, so you have lots of support, you see? So your accent is really nice. Thank you. Thank you for uh, kind words. I would like to uh, go over to uh, Shamim. Shamim, also please quickly yeah. introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, I am Sh I'm Shamim. I am from Bangladesh. And... Um, I also come here for improving my English and uh, I am working as a teacher and I have two kids also and they are studying so I need to uh, help them in their studies so I think it's a it's a very wonderful platform for me to improve my English and uh, I get 
feedback from my um, expert. Um, so uh, it also helped me. Out. So thank you so much for this reason I'm here. Okay, great, great. Thanks for coming. And uh, Noemi, uh, introduce yourself and explain why you're here today with us. Noemi, can you turn on your camera? We can't see you, or we can't hear you. Can you say why are you here today? Some minutes. Okay, then let's start. Uh, you need some time to, um, to connect uh, your audio settings or whatsoever. Uh, all right, we'll start with the first part. Uh, I'll speaking. Uh, normally we do the breakout rooms and uh, one, uh, one group follows Sivit in uh, the breakout room and she's going to be your host. But today we will not do that because as we see for now and we are uh, not really crowded. Uh, so we'll stay all in the main meeting. Perhaps if some more students will come then I'll have to create a breakout room for now and I don't see the necessity to do so. Uh, so we'll start as this, and uh, after we have a talk um, or about dreams, uh, uh, we will follow like, you know, uh, IELTS format. Um, can you please accept the, uh, Malika? She accept Malika's... Uh, yeah, yeah, I have already done mm this. -hmm. All right. So, yeah. Um, so after we uh, discuss the questions, which are asked wise, part one, part two, and part three, uh, we will provide you the feedback on the strengths that you have and on the uh, weaknesses that you need to develop. So stay tuned right till the very end. It's gonna be useful because it really helps you to reflect on your speaking and improve. And then, uh, I'll check if we have any questions from the audience because the YouTube audience may ask us some questions and we would love to get some and would love to, um, to respond. And if there is uh, no question, then we'll just move on to the next part, uh, to the um, part when I'm going to share with you how you can join this club because we run uh, such clubs uh, three times a week. This is uh, one on YouTube, which is live uh, for everyone free and open. But we also have a paid membership club and you can practice regularly with us three times in a week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you stay with us till the very end, I'll give you some more details uh, about the club as well. So, uh, and uh, let's start. Um, let's start with the part one. So, part one uh, is a warm up part. That's the way I call part one because it has. Uh, it's not very extended. It's just three to four minutes long in the IELTS exam, and uh, you know, an examiner is trying to warm you up, prepare you for uh, for part two, where you have to talk at length, and then for part three, where you have to uh, discuss the questions, more serious questions. So uh, there are three questions at the beginning, question one, two, two and three. Uh, have a look at the questions, select one, select the student you would like to ask this question to, and ask it. So I'd like to start with uh, Malika. Malika, you know the format. Um, please select one of the questions from part one. Select the student who you'd like to ask this question and then we'll listen, okay? Uh, Malika, I can't hear you. Okay, maybe uh, then... Hello. Sorry. Ah, you can... Now I can hear That's you. Okay. Just, uh, you see the Glad to see you all. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but still I can't see the questions on chat. I join later. All right. All right. So Sylvie uh, is going to share the questions again. Once again, she, you can see them now, I guess. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> okay. Do you usually remember your dreams? Questions for Shamin. Uh -huh. Okay, Shamin, do you usually remember okay. your dreams? Thank you, Actually, uh, I consider myself a night owl. Uh, so um, I very few times I can remember my dream, but uh, 
you know, when it's a nightmare, I can remember it clearly. And uh, when I wake up and I just uh, tem tembled with fear that uh, why I uh, see, uh, I, I saw like that kind of dream. And uh, after a few minutes later, I took a, I take a meditation and uh, I forget everything. And uh, I warm up myself and I, um, I involve my daily work. Uh, I involve myself in my daily work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, nightmares are an issue sometimes. Yeah, and it's good that you do some meditation, meditative practices who really help us, you know, uh, to set our minds properly. Okay, so I mean, please uh, ask your question to anyone in the group. Hello, can I ask Malaika? You can ask Malika as well. Yes, sure. Yeah. Uh, are you a sound sleeper or a light sleeper? Oh, I could say that definitely I'm a light sleeper because um, as I could remember any time, if there are any kind of noise or some movements uh, during my sleep, I could wake up like normally and uh, work. Uh, I'm not... Um, how is it called when I take like like working at the uh, walking at night and could even answer any questions it's okay for me but still uh the beginning of my marriage my husband was really what are you doing but for me it's normal to wake up anytime at night to do anything after being mother it becomes more and more like um, a light thing for me to wake up and do anything that's why definitely I'm a light sleeper. It's a nerve term for me, actually. Okay, so you're a light sleeper and you can even wake up and do things at night. Wow. I hope you don't walk at night, like, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Otherwise, your husband should be really freaked out. <laughs> okay, great then. Um, Noemi, oh, uh, Noemi, please pick up a question and ask it to, uh, to Sarwar. Hey, hello, Salva. Um, describe one of your dreams that you still remember. Uh, you should say, what was it about? No, uh, describe one of your well, dreams. It's that part two question. Part, it's okay. a part two question. Look at part okay, one yes. only for now. Okay? The other one. Mm -hmm. May I repeat that? No, it's okay. Did you understand? Which question yes. are you asking? Repeat again. To describe one of their histories that... Describe is a part two question. We will all, you know, go around the table and we will all do it. For now, I'm just part one questions. Can you see the part one question? There are three okay. questions. Okay, sorry. Yeah. No worries. Um, uh, do you usually remember your dreams? Okay, thank I you very much. Number, number three. Uh, Sarwar? Yeah, question number three. Question number three. No, Sarwar, uh, Nomi asked you a question. Do you usually remember your dreams? She asked you. Yeah, yeah, okay, I understand. Now I understand. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. And thank you a lot for your question. Um, I have um, trying to exact explain about um, the question. So, so, the so question. Our, okay, uh, usually, do you remember uh, usually, your dream? yes. Okay, usually, um, a dream. I think um, is um, part of life and part of uh, sleep, and um, so so. Um, um, when I sleep regularly, same same time, same year, uh, at this midnight, when I see any kind of dream, but uh, it's um, when I wake up in morning, it's uh, removed from myself, removed from my mind and um, eyes. So um, I don't um, allow any kind of uh, dream from um, touch with my life and daily 
uh, routine work. So uh, it's my opinion about um, the, and uh, hold on, please. Uh, do you is really is, okay uh now Savar, uh, you, you no it's my to, opinion thank, thank you. you thank you Savar. now you need to choose a question and ask it to malabika okay there are three questions choose one and ask it to malabika okay thank you thank you thank you ma'am okay please um attention please malabika can dream be explained scientifically uh well not this Malabika. one part one question part only part one question next time we can just send them you know part by part i guess yes because students get confused so uh just part one questions uh there are three questions are you a sound sleeper or a light sleeper question two do you usually remember your dreams and question three do you think we can learn something from dreams so one of the questions please uh, you can ask uh, to malabika yeah, can, uh, question number three. Can dream be explained scientifically? Please answer me, Malavika. Um, can you repeat the question, please? Question one, two, or three? Three. Question number three. That means, can dream be explained scientifically? Okay, this is a part three questions. Uh, we will ask uh, part one question. Let me ask Malabika. Malabika, uh, do you think we can learn something from dreams? Question three, do you think we can learn something from dreams? And it would be nice if you could turn on your camera, please, okay? Uh, actually, my camera is not working right now. Okay. If then I on my camera, then my voice is not clear. So yeah, your voice to... is not clear so much. Okay, uh, yeah. anyway, we can hear you so far. Yes, yes. Uh, well, uh, yes, we can learn something from dreams. Uh, whenever we uh, see some good dreams, we are uh, uh, running uh, that kind of dream. Like uh, whenever we see dream, a uh, good thing happening in future. Like we want to achieve something or we then we see that that is already happened in my dream. Um, so that 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 time we are becoming more uh, uh, delighted and uh, want to work with that. So I think a dream is uh, obviously can be uh, we can learn from the dream if we can use it properly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All right. Now, uh, everyone has answered the, uh, the questions from part one. We're going to move to part two question. And uh, well, let me see how many we have. I think this time um, we can break up into groups and uh, we can uh, work in groups. We will time you. Uh, each of you will have a one and a half minute to speak. So have a look at part two question while I'm grouping you up. Uh, let me copy that and send you the question. Or maybe say you can, could you please send the part two question and read it for the rest of the class? Uh, meanwhile, I will, um, I will just move the students to the breakout room. Okay, from now on, we are going to answer the part two question. So here it says that describe one of your dreams that you still remember. And you should say what was I, about. Yeah. Sorry, thank you. Givara has joined. That's really nice to see uh, him or her here. So uh, describe one of your dreams that you still remember. You should say what was it about? When did you have it? And why do you still remember that particular dream? And how do you feel about that dream? So you will have uh, one minute to prepare your answers and then we will just um, go with the answers. While we are breaking out the rooms, you can take some notes and well, get ready for your answers. Now I see we have lots of uh, newcomers here. Aisha has just joined. Mugiwara, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Thank you so much, Aisha. Welcome. Uh, it's great to see you on my Where are you coming from, Aisha? 
Thank you so much. I love to join this class. Actually, I just a bit busy, but I saw your link, so I thought let's do it and just check how is it. Yeah. Oh, that's that's really nice. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, Nilfi. I'm from Pakistan, but I'm living in Dubai. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah. So uh, hopefully, actually, one more thing I want to. I would like to share with you because I am pursuing my IELTS test, so that's why it's very useful for me oh, to yeah awesome. to learn English and listening to yeah or four modules. Great. We hope to see you among us uh, more often. We also have a special uh, speaking club for the ones who wants to practice and polish their um, English. Actually, so just uh, stay tuned. We will inform you about the club at the end of the session and well i'd like to welcome Givara as well Givara, can you hear us yeah and i would like to ask aisha and miguara uh, to turn on their cameras and i'm opening the rooms so that you will be moved to the rooms accept my invitation some of you will stay in the main meeting we'll discuss the questions here some of you will follow civil in the breakout room thank you civil okay so, uh, Aisha, Miguara, Miguara, can you turn on your cameras, please? We can't see you now. Aisha and Miguara, can you can you have your cameras on, please? Is it possible? Aisha. Yeah, actually, I'm so sorry. I couldn't able to uh, turn on my camera. Can I? Uh, can I come? Can I join after ten minutes? Is it okay for you? Okay, sure, sure. Um, Mugiwara, what about you? Mugiwara, thank you so much. You're welcome. Mugiwara, Luffy, can you connect? Okay, uh, Mugiwara, I will just uh, ask you to join the breakout room then. Okay. So you are sent the request to join the breakout room and with the rest of the class, we are going to start a discussion of part two question. So, uh, you know, it's usually tough for many students to speak at length for one and a half, two minutes long, but it's okay. Uh, it just, you know, it just comes with practice. As more you practice, the more you speak, you get better. So let's start. Uh, if you're ready to uh, answer the question, uh, raise your hand. Uh, Aisha, you can have a look at the question. Describe one of your dreams that you remember. That's the question we are going to talk about now. And uh, please take some notes, make an outline of your speech. You are allowed to do so. You're allowed to do so even in the exam. So you can uh, go for it. So who would like to start? Who would like to share the dream? <laughs> Noemi, okay, Noemi, please uh, turn on your voice, please turn on your. Okay, here are some much noise, so I think that sometimes you cannot be able to listen to me. I'm well, going to describe. I can hear you well. I can hear you well right now. So you can just, Great. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to describe a short dream. Is when I. Uh, some year, some months ago, I dream with my mother, and she has passed away. And and I dreamed with her. She told me just one word, and that make me very, I don't know how to say, maybe surprised or uh, shocked because she just said, "Sing, sing," like an imperative form, sing. But I, I, well, if it's a message, maybe I, I don't know why, but uh, that day made me feel a little confused and, and why just said that she said just that, sing, what it means. And it was very strange, but it, well, it shocked me, you know. Mm -hmm. You have half a minute more to talk, so. When did you have it? Why do you still remember it? Why? Why I remember that? Yes. I it's still remember that because I, I still remember that because uh, my mother, she liked to sing a lot. 
she's she sang all the time she sang at the church and and with friends and um, it was very strange for me because i like to sing too but uh, why that's only one word somebody oh sing and the the dreams are finished and so uh, when when you dream with something and so time is some... out. Thank you. Time okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice answer. I'm going to give you the feedback at the very end of the um, uh, the session. Uh, just before we go, uh, sing. I think you you didn't mean sing. Sing. It's like you know the ship can sing. Uh, but this the one you mean is sing sing when you use your voice vocal cords to make the sound right that was the word yes sing there is a nasal sound sing can you say that sing 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 sing, sing. Mm -hmm. okay okay because you know in english there are some slight uh, very close sounds they are slightly different but they make huge uh, difference in terms of the meaning so the pronunciation is so highly important okay thank you so much uh, now uh, the thank same you. question to um who would like to to go next shamim please yes shamim okay uh, in my whole life, I dreamed innumerable dreams. I dreamed at night, but I forget during the day. But some dreams are pleasant and some dreams were unpleasant. Uh, but today I can recognize this dream, where, which I mostly, uh, very often I see, that it was a um, dream about my exam. Uh, from my very early childhood, I was uh, very afraid of um, uh, examination. So uh, all about it all about started from my early childhood and still now I can uh, see this kind of uh, dream when I overloaded with my work. Uh, the dream was a very natural, very normal that uh, I, I always see that uh, I am um, yeah, the most common dreams uh, in my life. It's uh, that my exam is starting and uh, I just uh, I, I am uh, rushing to the exam hall. And my, I saw that everybody is uh, already uh, starting their, uh, started their exam. And uh, I asked um, for exam paper for my teacher. And uh, as usual that I saw that my exam uh, time is up and, and my teacher snatched my question paper and my answer paper and I am uh, crying and say, um, and uh, begging that the teacher please give my uh, exam paper back. And I think that uh, still I can remember this dream um, because uh, I often see this dream um, oh, even uh, when my kids go for exam and uh, um, it's like a nightmare. I always see the same dream and I think they will uh, do the uh, uh, do uh, not a good result on their exam uh, so all time I try I pray for that and uh, so um, and I wish they will not see such kind of uh, dream because it's I think it's a um, very it's a very um, uh, very bad thing like a nightmare like uh, oh, it's yeah. a um, okay thank you so much great thank you okay great 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 uh, guys, you speak so well, so I just wanted to remind you that. And the next one is coming is Sarwar. Sarwar, please. So tell us about your dream. So you see, some people have night nightmares. I hope you have some pleasant one. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, ma'am, uh, about this question. And... Um, I want to say about my dream is practical from my practical life. When I was teenage, uh, 16, 17 years old, that this time I love, I love a guy. Uh, she was 15 years and our love um, was a beautiful relation. And this love going uh, well, 
and um, I have uh, every night uh, I, I was seeing a relationship dream with others and others and a lot of um, feelings and it's really uh, it was a crazy time um, for me and I um, appreciate her all the time and a um, lot of love um, I have uh, created for her and and um, and we are both um, we are both uh, feeling great for our relationship and love and uh, and he her face hang up in my mind in my heart so I have um, seen a lot of dreams um, uh, with her and now regularly like a per week one day two days three days uh, i have seen um dream with her and um, this uh, really beautiful feeling and um beautiful um, uh, and um, i don't um, exact um explain our feelings but love always um Hardest um, arrangement. So, so I'm, I'm feeling well and good. But now this time. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Great. Thank you, Sarwar. Good, good job. Thank you, ma'am. I will also provide you feedback at the very end of the session. Now let's move on. Aisha, uh, can you have your camera on? And the same question to you. So tell us about your dream. Uh, you're muted, Aisha. Can you turn on your your voice? Your um, your mic. I'm so sorry for inconvenient. I didn't come that time. I was, I didn't perform my Maghrib Salah, so that's why. Uh, I'm so sorry. I missed uh, something. So please, uh, what what is the question? So oh, we just... the question is from part two. Uh, describe one of the dreams that you still remember. You should say. Mm -hmm. What was it about? When did you have it? Why do you still remember that particular dream? And how do you feel about that dream? What is about? Uh, number two. Uh -huh. You can click on uh, the chat. All the questions are in the chat. Okay, let me check. Okay, one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Okay, describe what, what it was. Okay. Just give me uh, 10 seconds or I'll just make the, the night reply. Okay, so it will be important to speaking for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, just one of your dream. I just so you need to just basically tell about your dream, what you what dream you had. Just if you have an idea. If if you can't start, we can just move on to part three then, if you'd like to. Okay. Yes. Uh, can you see me? I, I can see. Yeah. yeah, we can see, see you. Me? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. First of yes. all, I'm very nervous. About, I don't know. It's the first time I am mm -hmm. turn on my camera and talk to the people. It's like that. Yeah. The first question was, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. okay, just yes. feel relaxed. Yeah, Aisha, just tell us okay. about your dream. Okay. Don't get stuck to the questions. Just speak. Just Feel yourself at ease. Just, just think what dream you're going to talk about. Focus on what you're going to say. Don't focus on the questions, okay? Okay, fine. Got it. Okay. Uh, if, um, yes, my question was you're asking, um, about dream. Yes, in terms of dream, uh, you know, I am very into it, actually. Because uh, it's already, I think, being a Muslim, uh, we have some faith related about dreams. Uh, the right nightmares come from the evil, mean demons, and the, the good one is uh, come from the uh, our Lord. So we are believe that. Yes, I guess as I, uh, however, I have some dreams which I never forget. For example, when I see 
I, I have seen uh, dead people with my relative and they are, I don't know why they come. And I'm very curious about, I have to know about what is happening with me and why their dreams comes again and again. Then I asked some scholar and uh, I asked, what is, the what is the meaning of that? When I watch, uh, when I see that those people who die and they said, it's maybe it's good for you. They will tell you something about themselves. Maybe they have some trouble or they want to ask you, they want to connect with you. That is a thing. And obviously sometimes that was scared me because in the dream, I know they were, they were died and I was, oh, really? And when I, suddenly uh, that night I was uh, toes and turn, I couldn't able to sleep properly. And then, however, but I know these are the relatives and I have to uh, maintain my, you know, dreams. But some of uh, good dreams, which I know about, I really want to share if you have time. Definitely. Ivana, the one thing is everyone has a one and a half minute. So you have developed your answer and I'm going to give you the feedback at the very end. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Finish? Uh, it's finished? Yeah, yeah, this part is over. Part, part two is over. Now we're moving okay. on to part three of our speaking. And it's a discussion part. We will again continue talking to uh, talking about dreams. And just the questions will be uh, the way harder. Okay. And you will be discussing them in the exam. You don't have an opportunity to really discuss it with an examiner because examiner needs to ask you and, and you have to answer the questions. But Today, you have an opportunity to discuss these questions so that it will be more real to life. Uh, I'm sharing the questions once more, once again. Uh, so have a look. Uh, there are four questions that I would like you to discuss with, with your friend. So just have a look at the questions. One second, I think. I, just give me, give me a second. Okay. okay, now I'm sharing the question. Have a look. So there are four questions, as I mentioned earlier. Please select the question and select the student, the participant that you are going to discuss this question with. So you're, it's going to be like this. You will ask the question. For example, I can ask the question to Shami why do you think people see dreams? Shami will start speaking and then she can ask me, uh, Alena, and what do you think? So she will kind of um, initiate my speaking. She wants to, uh, she, will, uh, she will ask me the same question and I will express if I, uh, if I agree with her or not. So I will, um, I will express my point of view on the same subject matter. Okay, so that's the point of the uh, discussion. One question, two people to discuss the same question, to agree or disagree with each other, okay? All right, then, um, yes, Shamim, you can choose a question and you can, you can choose a student, a participant to talk and discuss the question, okay? Okay. Uh, just. My question is to Aisha, uh, the first one, why do you think people see dreams? Um, um, uh, I, I believe the people see uh, what they are thinking, you know, the subconscious mind, whatever they are happening in their daily life. But uh, for example, I just give you an example. Uh, Maybe they are thinking about a future plan to go abroad and the uh, study purpose, anything else, whatever they are thinking. They don't focus that time. But when they sleep, the subconscious mind, they watch that part because the subconscious, in sense, they are hitting your mind. The mind is feed the things which you are thinking, but you're not noticed that time yeah that's why the people can see the dreams like that but it's, it's not about bad and good 
it's about for what they are uh, they have some perspective about the things they are not noticing and that's the thing yeah i think am i i, I clear i think you understand my answer right yeah yeah so do yeah, you agree yeah. Yeah. so do you agree what's your point on this yeah yeah i understood everything yeah you understood okay. but what's your point do you agree do you disagree what's your point so you've got to uh, share your yeah own. i agree that yeah i agree that um, uh, it is store uh, when, actually when we dream or when people dream uh, it uh, actually the play of our subconscious mind it scientifically said that uh, when we uh, see anything uh, but we maybe we didn't uh, notice it but our mind notice it and it store on our subconscious, subconscious mind and when we go sleep and it shows in our dream that uh, is yeah i agree that mm -hmm. okay okay thank you great great uh the next uh Sarvar, choose a question and choose a student you'd like to discuss this question thank you very much ma'am my question Can dreams affect someone's health? Question to uh, Naomi, please answer. Can you read the question for Naomi? Yeah, yeah. Question: Can dreams affect someone's health? Can you hear me, Naomi? Yes, uh, well, yeah, yeah uh, okay. if you believe that dreams has a message and you, you really believe in this, but you are not able to, to say what it means, maybe I think that person gets worried all the time, but I don't think that it can bring some sickness, um, deeply or something like that but just i think that person is keeps keeps setting in her mind you know thinking about what what did it mean or uh, has something very important to in my life with this i think that's not so important i don't believe in it Sarah, what, uh, okay you thank you thank you very much okay. for your good answer and um, I agree with her, and uh, she is um, well explained uh, about the question. Um, that's okay, ma'am. Next one, please move. I mean, what Bill, you, uh, I mean, the same question to you. What do you think? Can dreams affect someone's health, Sarwar? You need to also respond. Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, I can't believe any dreams. And um, dreams is part of life, man life. It's the natural uh, from God. When I will sleep, uh, that this time I will see any kind of dream, but this uh, will be uh, from uh, our daily work, daily life, and uh, this uh, work of when um, rounding in my mind and uh, attached um, uh, my daily work, that this uh, dream, uh, I um, will see midnight. So, so it will be good dream or bad dream, but uh, bad dream, it's my opinion, ma'am. You know, I am a Bengali speaker. My native language is Bengali. I am not well English speaker, but uh, some missing here, so accept me. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for your nice response. Uh, response. So uh, we are going to um, ask, Mugiwara, Mugiwara, hi. Can you choose a question and a student to talk and discuss the question together? Uh, okay, wait. Where can I see the question? Ah, here. In the meeting chat. Actually, there are 
two questions that were not uh, touched on yet. So you can say, let's say you can discuss question number three. Can dream be explained scientifically? You can ask this question to anyone in the group you like. Um, Miss, we have answered this question in the other groups, so maybe she can choose the fourth one or she can, of course, say something different or even the same things, but let me just... Um... Okay, question number four then. Uh, you can uh, discuss with someone, Mugiwara. What are some advantages of getting enough sleep? Discuss this question with anyone you'd like to. Just select the student, okay? Okay, okay, so wait. And just and still. So, number four, question number if four. Question number four, discuss it with someone. Choose a student. So, say the name. We have Sarva, Shami, Nomi, and Aisha. Select a student and ask this question. I select one. May I do the number uh, okay. four? Oh, okay. Hi. Miguara and Noemi, you can discuss question number four together. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hi. The question is, uh, what are some advantages of getting enough sleep? May I do this? This question? Yeah, yeah. So you discuss it with Miguara together. Okay. The, the advantage of getting enough sleep? Well, my goodness. Uh, it's very important to get eight, eight hours for sleeping, for resting your body or rest your brain you need like uh it's getting more energy for the other day uh it's important for teens because they grow they can grow they can grow up if they sleep well and what else Thank you marissa you have something more to tell Mugiwara. So like, like Noemi said, uh, it's really important. Uh, it's good for children to grow. What do you think? Okay, I think there are quite some, some very, uh, very, very big advantage if you have, if you're getting enough sleep. Yeah, like, for example, for children, it's good for them to have enough sleep so that it will help them grow physically that, and also their brain. It will also help grow more. I think no that grow more but to to be healthy and for mm -hmm. us adults like like young adults we should have a it's advantage for us to have a good night's sleep to have a beauty rest of course and also it's so that we can function well on the next day if ever you have some work to do so if we also if we have having enough sleep so we can work and our our brain, our, we are we can work mentally and physically also, and it's good to have a good night's sleep so that we have we will have a good mood because as what I experience, if I don't have enough sleep, I easily get irritated and I easily get like yeah I, that's it i easily get irritated if i don't have enough sleep so it's good to have a good night's sleep in order for us to have a good mood on the next day for work or when you're just at home you can function well both physically and mentally totally yes totally yeah you can function well uh physically and mentally that's a good summary Thank you, Miguara. Thank you, Noemi. And the last question for today, can dream be explained scientifically? So uh, we have uh, Aisha, Shamim, and Sarwar. Three of you are going to discuss the same question, okay? So who'd like to start? That's a tough one. <laughs> really tough question to discuss at the end. Can dream be explained scientifically? <laughs> Uh, I, um, can I start? Yes, yes, Aisha, please. Okay, I reckon, uh, yes, it can be, I think so. Because now it's a vast technology. They are the many doctors are research things, what happened after sleep, and there are many, uh, you know, uh, experiments going on. For example, um, the hypnotize, the main function is hypnotize. Some dreams are, you know, very uh, crucial and very scary and very horrified. It keeps coming and every time, you know, it frequently comes. 
that, that, that that's why they consult to the doctor. They go to um, psych, uh, psychologist doctor, ask them what will happen. Yes, it's it's a big uh, the one of the example as I told you. Yes, this one, but uh, yes, and they also know what happened. Yeah, I think this is enough for that. I think uh, yeah, this is my answer. Yeah, it's it's not going on because of the West technology. They are working on it and they are focused why they are. Uh, these dreams come to the person, why they are not forgetting and what happened when the, that dream comes, they feel cranky, they, uh, they, not, they have some disease issue, they not feel healthy. So that's why they want to know what is happening, what is this? So yeah, it is scientific, they are working on it. And yes, this is, I reckon, yes. I believe that I agree with that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, very nice. Uh, so Sarwar, do you agree? Do you agree that there is a science yeah, Definitely, and definitely I agree with her, and uh, she will, um, has uh, explained exactly about this question. I think mm, right, all are right, and good guys, and hard speaking, spoken knowledge, and um, uh, very beautiful. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Savar, Shamim, what do you think? Uh, I think, yeah, it can be explained scientifically because we are uh, living in a uh, scientific era. So in this age, it's not impossible to explain scientifically. And I think that I, I watched many YouTube videos that uh, many psychiatrists are working on this dream. and. Um, they are also giving some um, explain about this dream and um, I can uh, in this case I can um, add one of my experience that uh, when I went to the doctor and uh, she uh, sent me a psychiatrist and the psychiatrist asked me about my dream and uh, when uh, um, he heard my uh, about my dream and he took a decision that I have a hormonal problem so I think um, yeah it can be explained in scientifically, but I'm not sure that uh, what it would be. Um, so uh, in, um, I firmly agree that uh, it can be explained in scientifically, dream can be. Wow, yeah. So you, you're saying that some scientists, uh, even psychiatrists uh, sometimes rely on dreams to make the, um, you know, some, predictions about your health maybe yeah, yeah. predictions but still they can kind of uh read the dream yeah they can interpret the dream and uh, that helps them make the diagnosis that's an yeah. interesting point yeah that's an interesting point to, to to put forward okay uh do you want to add something guys do you want to add something to this point noemi and aisha you didn't say anything but i can before we finish it up uh so you can add if you have some ideas to this point if you have any idea about this three about the dream scientific yeah yeah the same yeah, is of course I agree with her. Yeah, this also the same uh, uh, means harmony problem. But now they are researching about this, of course, because the people are the people are because they are very hectic routine. They are very uh, they don't have enough time to expand their family. They have only the busy their uh, office life. They don't have time to do workout. So that's why that's that kind of dream they are uh, they are they exhausted inside the mind is not fresh they are not they didn't get any inner peace so that's the thing that's why they impact them when they sleep they've saw that kind of dreams so this is a fact uh, I, if i think because sometimes i feel that kind of dreams which is this is illogical dreams we have seen and um, and what happened? There is no future. Yes. But I, I think dream is real, as I mentioned earlier before. And why the dream comes, the good dream comes for our benefit. They show us maybe if you will do, 
it's better for you some dream is like that if it's not good then please don't share to anyone because this is not good for you and if you share to someone maybe this they uh, they will harm for you because this is the evil things as i mentioned earlier yeah i think this is my point i just support this right. <laughs> actually i'm so sorry i'm very nervous i as i told you my voice is you know i'm shaking right now this is the first time i'm doing this yeah. otherwise i'm yeah otherwise i will do like you're amazing i'm impressed with your speech yeah great great speech thank you and naomi the same do you want to add something um do you think the dreams are scientific sorry no, but i can't listen to you in this moment all right the sound is really it's impossible to listen to you Oh, okay, okay, it's okay, no problem, thank you. So then, um, guys, we're moving on to the feedback part, and uh, I, I'd like to give the floor to Seville. Some students uh, had to go, I, I'm afraid, um, so uh, we will provide them feedback uh, in the written form, uh, if, uh, of course, if they had an opportunity to speak and say, answer at least some of the questions. Uh, so, but... Uh, Miguara was here. Um, uh, Mugiwara, uh, I think Sid is going to provide you some feedback. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I have shared some of my feedback with her before coming to this room, but let me go on uh, the ones that I'd like to add more. Well, actually, as I've said, uh -huh. before, um, yeah, as I've said to you before, your organization uh, was great for the part two. You have given the direct answer, then you have exemplified it, responded well, um, and you were quite coherent while answering the question. But I'd like to uh, hear more um, high, and not maybe that much, but uh, a little bit um, rare words. I mean, you should maybe enrich your vocabulary and learn some more um, words to make your structures your sentences uh better that may be quite helpful for you um and there were some pronunciation issues but i think it's uh, quite okay when you want to improve your pronunciation it will of course uh take a little bit time but i'm sure you can handle them for instance uh there were some, but I'd like to write you and then check the pronunciation. I mean, you can check the pronunciation. Um, well, those are the ones that I'd like to share. Your grammar was great. Um, there were some points when you have hesitated, but I think um, when you practice more, those hesitations will be over and it's the best way to actually overcome the issues by practicing. So I just uh, suggest you to practice more, just try to um, talk to somebody and well, that's a great opportunity for you maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, those are the ones that I'd like to share with Mugivara. Mm -hmm. hey, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome, okay. Uh, yeah, let me then move on to Aisha. Uh, Aisha, well, you have come uh, to this meeting for the first time and uh, you had an uh, impressive impact on me totally uh, because, uh, you know, uh, you came a little bit like you missed the first part, but I could evaluate your second and the third part of speaking. You have quite rich vocabulary, like you say, like you use words like hectic, routine, um and and uh, like uh, intuitive uh, you know kind of not very common words and so you have quite rich vocabulary of course there is a, always a room for improvement you can go for, for it uh, and learn some more phrases um uh, but what i liked uh, also about your speech for part uh, two you have had quite nice and uh, structure so you uh, you started with an introduction, then you moved on uh, and talked uh, in details about what you uh, about your dream, and just the 
finishing part you said should I continue or not you don't need to include this part yeah it's just a one and a half minute long so just if you feel like you ran out of ideas and it's time you can just sum it up okay so that was my dream thank you for listening okay <laughs> you don't need to say it, uh, thank you for listening in the exam but you can just sum up your points okay so that's enough and feel relaxed feel at ease you don't have to follow every step every single question okay important is to make a story okay so that we uh we can hear you and as a listener we can enjoy what you're saying what you're trying to express okay just so it's not necessary to follow all the questions and especially in order develop your story and then sum it up and uh well i think you used the word hypnotize i think uh, you wanted to say hypnosis uh, a noun you wanted to say a noun hypnosis right hypnosis uh, i was in the um, context where you had to use a noun uh, and sometimes your grammar is not accurate you need to work on it it was scares me you said yeah you should say it scared me for example it feared me it scared me uh, so you need to control uh, this, uh, you know, some grammar. You can just record your voice and then uh, listen back to yourself and see. Okay, probably you will find some mistakes, <laughs> even yourself. But if you have a friend or who is uh, uh, level up uh, than you, so then yourself, then ask him or her to listen. If you have a teacher, of course, it's even better. Uh, so these are my recommendations. Keep practicing keep practicing uh, polish your grammar and uh, of course you you should uh, include some strategies for IELTS uh, if you want to you can text me I will I have a course on how to do how to deal with the IELTS and uh, you know I'm speaking part so I have some strategies and I can uh, tell you uh, some hints and I can give you a link to the course that you can that you can participate in. Do you have any questions? Aisha, would you like to say something? <laughs> you there? Yeah, of course. Actually, uh, as I told you, I am uh, hesitate to talk about and that's why I'm my voice is wavy and I just that's why that's the thing and one more thing uh, when i ask you the part two uh it, this is the phrase do you have time can i share you more like this is the phrase like okay can i continue because i have uh i cannot say like that in the test just keep saying right okay that you mean to say that right okay yeah okay exactly uh how uh, how um uh, what you will give me a band score for example you didn't i didn't attend the first part one but all well, over it, it won't be appropriate i have a mock uh i'll speaking uh, test i i can conduct it for you so just text me mm -hmm. after the lesson uh, we can discuss for the further details um mm -hmm. so that i will give you more certain score when i hear you from the beginning from you know part one two and mm -hmm. part three okay so it will be more accurate i don't want to okay. mislead you you know misleading is one of the worst thing that the teacher can do <laughs> so i shouldn't do it i want to be accurate okay thank you Aisha. um nomi i think you want to be next yes i want to give you the feedback you ready yes okay so name it um well, uh, firstly, thanks for coming and contributing so far. It was uh, good. It was your first session and you had to get familiar with the format of discussion. Uh, from that on, I'm sure you, you know what to do and you will be doing it just fine. Uh, well, uh, you have uh, uh, answered all the questions. You have understood all the questions and um, uh, you could, uh, you know, get your point across. You can express yourself. 
Uh, I would give you some advice. Uh, you need to use storytelling in part two, because you started uh, talking and then you, you uh, said uh, about a dream that you had uh, about your mom and the word, and you started being repetitive. So uh, just try to develop based on the questions given or based on your own ideas, because uh, we don't need to be repetitive. You should think you should create a story that we will be eager to listen. Think about it. Uh, so, uh, yes, this is for part two. As for part three, try to extend your answers. So one, two sentences sometimes is not really enough to express yourself. So try to extend. Sometimes you, it seems like you run out of ideas or you express yourself, you give the argument, but you need to support your argument. Provide reason or an example or something so that your argument will be, will be strong. Okay, so that is, uh, that's the, the ideas I'd like to share with you. Do you have any questions, Noemi? Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for your patience. I'm a hearing, I have a hearing disability, this side here, and that's why I cannot hear so well. That's why I have some problems to listen to, especially when uh, some some people uh, have some accent, accents different from mine, and this is not so easy for me, not because the accents, but for me, it's a little more difficult. But where are you pleasure. coming from? I'm from Brazil, northeast of Brazil. All right, so yeah, yeah. it might be different uh, for you. <laughs> might be different. Yeah, my, I, yeah, I speak Portuguese. That's why it's a little completely different from your language. And that's that's why for me, it's a little bit difficult to understand you, but I understood it very well, all of you. I say thank you so much. And I intend to take part of this conversation again and see you all together sharing your ideas. Thank you so much for sharing the link with me. You were so patient with me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's our pleasure to have you. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yes, let's move on. We have two more students to go. It's Shamim. Uh, Shamim is coming. Shamim, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. So, Shamim, you, it's not your first time. By the way, I can't see you. So uh, I hope you, you're around. <laughs> so uh, it's not your first time here and you know um, what's going on. And it seems like you've got some proper training about how to, um, to, to, to take IELTS and you implement this, uh, what you've learned, the strategies you've learned. Uh, you use quite high order vocabulary. Um, at least you try like scientific era and you have a well-developed structured answers uh, like you usually use the um, introduction you start a little bit far and then you get into uh, details uh, and answer the questions so that's a nice strategy as well um, uh, you, your answers are well paced and you provide lots of details and so as I, I, I said um, you have a uh, really nice structure, coherent. Your, 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 your ideas are always coherent. So keep improving, keep practicing more. Uh, you can polish on your grammar, you can uh, move uh, and, and advance your vocabulary and it will be just perfect, okay? Do you have any questions? No, Elena, thank you so much. I am trying, improving. And uh, thank you for your support and feedback. You're welcome. It's our pleasure. Uh, we have uh, Sarwar. Sarwar is next. Uh, Sarwar, so um, this is your second time. So you, um, 
and you know uh, you're familiar with the format uh, you try to express yourself for now on uh, it seems a little bit hard for you to uh, to talk at length uh, to speak for one and a half minute or two minutes long so you repeat uh, some ideas over and over again like you did in part two today when you were talking about your dream um, you, you talked a lot about the feelings saying I felt great and uh, great dreams so like that uh, of course uh, when time comes uh, with practice you will achieve a high uh, level of English and you will uh, speak more fluently you will have more ideas to uh, to express yeah so uh, you also have to work on the accent it was sometimes hard to follow uh, it was hard to follow you at times because of your accent so you need to do a lot of listening listen and maybe shadowing techniques so listen repeat listen repeat uh, that can help you as well. Um, yeah, and so these are these are my um, ideas. I take on on your uh, speech today. Do you have anything to say to ask? Sarva, anything to ask? Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Mm, uh, I will follow um, accordingly uh, your instruction and. Uh, Mm, I wanna become mm, mm, a fluent speaker anyhow. So I had and for trying and follow your instruction. So thank you very much for your advice and feedback with support. I am a lot of happy and feel proud of your service job and good arrangement. And definitely it's helpful for me. I am happy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's our pleasure to have you over as usual. Uh, now, I have just checked. We don't have any questions uh, on YouTube. So let me just uh, uh, say uh, goodbye to our uh, the, the YouTubers who are watching us live.